With me now is Congressman Steve Cohen of Tennessee. He is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He is a proponent of impeachment. Congressman, thank you for taking a few minutes. Okay, let me just start on the deal that was reached yesterday. What in particular, I know you got Nadler out there saying this is key evidence. These are the most important files, he says, uh, that Mueller had. That's raising the bar. What in particular are you expecting to learn here? Well, I hope Jerry's right, but I think the most important evidence we could get would be what they took to the grand jury, which is not part of the information we'll be receiving. The, the, the best information of what they were doing wrong would be what they took to the grand jury to get indictments and to get uh, uh, grand jury's uh, information, and then that they're not giving us. Now, some of this is, is information that would be in that reputational type of category that Barr chose to, to redact. And there could be information there concerning obstruction. There could be information there that's important. Uh, and we'll look at the underlying documents. Right now, they've given us some times to go see it, but it's all during the, the, the work day. They say justice only works from 8 to 5 or 9 to 5 or whatever. Well, we're working from 9 to 5. We like to be able to go at night or early in the morning, and, and they, will, they have not agreed to so that. But I'm sure it'll be worked out. It, it, it sounds, though, the way you're talking, you're not expecting as much here as your chairman is. No, I, I'm not, and I, and I hope he's right. He may have um, reason, uh, good reason to believe that we're going to get much more important information. But there are two reasons. Number one, I think the grand jury testimony is the best. I mean, that's they t you take your, 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 your bread and butter to the grand jury. Uh, some of the, F, F, the, the 302s, which are your FBI investigative notes, if you don't go to the grand jury with it, it's, it's the, the less, less important matter, number one. And number two, I don't think Bill Barr is going to give us anything that's going to be anything that's going to be pr very uh, informative about Trump's illegality, illegal behavior and involvement with Russia or helping his kids out with the Russia meeting or obstruction. So I don't think Barr would have given us anything good, too. So that's maybe a little supposition on my part, but uh, this isn't Barr's first rodeo. You have this, uh, this issue of criminal contempt being taken off the table. The House today, though, having this vote on civil contempt, on empowering the committee chairs to go to court to try to enforce subpoenas. The open question hanging over the next few weeks is whether your committee is going to hear from Robert Mueller, whether your committee is going to hear from Don McGahn. Realistically, though, again, we've seen the way the, the uh, gears turn on these things. Slowly in the past, realistically, will that vote today have any bearing on whether your committee in the near future hears from either of them? Well, Robert Mueller is independent of all that. I think that they're still negotiating, but I think there's going to, it's probably going to be time we have to issue a subpoena. And then I think he'll respond to the subpoena because he's an honorable man and he didn't work for Trump. And Trump's not going to tell him what to do. And so I think Robert Mueller will come. And I don't know about McGahn. McGahn's, the committee has suggested to me that it could be as early as September that we could get expedited hearings completed and have some possibility of an interview in the fall. You, you, say, you say you expect Mueller will ultimately come. Mueller was pretty explicit in that press conference. Basically, the only time we heard from him speaking to cameras over the last two plus years, he was pretty explicit. He had nothing more to say. Even if he does show up, do you think he's going to say a word that's different than we heard in that uh, press conference that day? Well, you don't know. I mean, he said he wasn't going to say anything different than was in the report, and the report was his, his, was his, you know, that was his report. So he may say some more. You don't know. He may not. But even if he just talks about the report and lets us know about it, I think it's important the American people hear it. The American people don't really understand that that was a very damning report. As, I, as I've said before, this was a, 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 a cannon. They said, is, is there, is there a, a, a gun you're looking for? A, this was a cannon. It, it's, Mueller was pretty clear, if you read the report, that there was obstruction of justice. And when you're dealing with co impeachment uh, in Congress, you're not talking about a guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, which is what he'd be looking at for an indictment, but you're looking at preponderance of the evidence. There's a big difference in the standards. And there's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, according to over a thousand prosecutors for obstruction of justice, there's certainly a preponderance of the evidence, and that's what all you'd need. And as uh, was said on, in our hearing yesterday, some things are lawful but awful, and that could go into the soup of, uh, of impeachment which is kind of a totality of circumstances and what what's, can he really be an effective or a president that the, should serve in that office. And then you throw in emoluments and then, then you get the gumbo and you have to deal with that. Let, let, me, let me ask you quickly, you want impeachment. Does your chairman, does Jerry Nadler want to pursue, proceed to an impeachment inquiry? 
you know, I think he'd need to respond to that. My impression is he, he does. And, uh, but I think that's something he'd need to be d d definitive on. There, there are reports that he has said that to the House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi. Do you know if that's true? Uh, I, I suspect that there's a, there's a possibility that's true. Has he said it to you? Oh, we're not going to get there, Steve. All right. Congressman Steve Cohen, Democrat from Tennessee.